Hi, this is ROC Boss. Today, we're going to discuss the Burma Campaign in World War II. This was one of the largest campaigns in the Second Sino-Japanese War, and this was a battle not only fought between the Chinese and the Japanese, but also the Americans and the British, making this a more wide-scale campaign in the war. The battle between Yunnan and Burma is divided into the first battle between Yunnan and Burma and the Battle of Northern Burma and Western Yunnan. After 1938, the front lines between Japan and China were at a stalemate. The Japanese army was unable to launch a large-scale offensive against Chinese forces, so the Imperial Japanese Army, or the IJA, turned their attention towards the Indo-Chinese Peninsula. This would allow them to seize supplies and isolate China. However, this strategy threatened the Western powers' colonial regime in Southeast Asia and sparked outrage from both Britain and the United States. In December 1941, Japan founded the 15th Army for the future conflict between Thailand and Burma, foreshadowing the conflict to come. On January 4th, 1942, Japanese troops crossed the border and invaded Burma. On January 30th, the IJ occupied Melamine, and advanced on the capital of Burma, Yangon. On March 8th, Yangon fell to the IGA 56th and 18th Divisions. The Japanese immediately turned their focus onto Mandalay, attempting to capture the city in order to cut off the Yunnan-Burma Highway. This strategy would allow them to cut off vital supplies from entering China and also split the Allied forces. Back in December 1941, the Republic of China, or ROC, and Britain signed the Joint Defense of the Burma Road Treaty and established a military alliance in order to keep supplies flowing into China for their war against Japan. The Yunnan-Burma region also became a strategic place to defend British India from future Japanese invasion. The Chinese Expeditionary Force consisted of the 5th Corps, the 6th Corps, and the 66th Corps, and was stationed in Dali. The vanguard was the 200th Division of the 5th Corps, which was stationed in Baoshan. In February 1942, the British asked the National Revolutionary Army, or NRA, to send troops to support the defense of Burma. Chiang Kai-shek ordered Du Yiming, acting commander-in-chief, to enter Lashio in March. The NRA 200th Division on March 9th arrived in Tonggu to support the British defense against the IJA. At the same time, the Japanese had occupied Yangon. Under the command of Shojira Ida, a rapid IGA advance attempted to occupy Mandalay in the shortest possible time. The Sino-British League planned to take Tonggu with a mixed force in the center, the left flank manned by the Chinese Expeditionary Force, and the right flank by the British Army, attacking the IGA in three different places and recapturing the south of Burma. However, the Imperial Japanese Army moved too quickly, forcing the NRA 200th Division and the IGA to initiate the first battle of the war for Burma. At this time, the British Army planned to withdraw from their base in Burma and pull back to India. On March 16th, the IGA bombed Tonggu and the British forces at their base in Magwe. The local British Air Force was decimated in these attacks. From here on, in the sky, the Japanese Air Force no longer faced any opposition. So seizing their opportunity, the Japanese started their assault on Tonggu on the 20th of March, and the Battle of Tonggu officially began. The IGA 55th Division attacked Tonggu under the cover of the Air Force, but was blocked by the NRA 200th Division, so the IGA brought in more troops and launched an offensive again on the 22nd. At this time, Commander Stilwell issued an order for the NRA's new 55th, 22nd and 96th Divisions of the 5th Corps to support the defense in the south. On March 26th, the IGA 55th Division surrounded Tonggu from the west, north and south to attack the position of the NRA 200th Division. The besieged NRA troops tried to break out several times but failed. Under a strong IGA assault, the NRA defense began to collapse. On March 27th, the new 22nd Division of the 5th Corps of the NRA arrived nearby, but reinforcements of the 56th Division of the IJ also arrived in Tonggu. The NRA's new 22nd Division was blocked by the IGA 56th Division, but could not immediately support the 200th Division. At this time, the Japanese army used poison gas against forces in Tonggu, causing heavy casualties to the NRA. On March 28th, the IJ 56 came to the east bank of the Sid Daria, ready to face the NRA 200th Division across the river. At this point, Tonggu was completely surrounded by the Japanese army and disconnected from supply lines and reinforcements. On March 29th, the NRA 6th Corps in the east and the British Burmese Army in the west launched a counter-attack against the Japanese army, 
forcing the Japanese army to break the siege of Tonggu. However, at this time, reinforcements of the 18th Division also arrived on the battlefields, and the IJA was ready to use its numerical advantage to annihilate the NRA in Tonggu. At this point in the battle, the NRA 200th Division lost more than 2,500 men in the battle, and almost lost the ability to continue fighting. On March 30th, the new 22nd Division of the NRA was ordered to feign an attack against Japanese forces in the east to cover the NRA 200th Division's retreat northwards. After realizing the ploy was to cover a retreat, the Japanese army attempted to pursue the 200th, but was firmly held back by the NRA's new 22nd Division and failed to do so. In this battle, the IGA 55th Division was severely weakened, causing the Japanese to halt their advance north. On April 2nd, Lu Zhouying was appointed Commander-in-Chief of the Chinese Expeditionary Force and was placed under the command of Commander Stilwell. The 5th Corps of the Chinese Expeditionary Force was stationed in Pingmana under the command of Du Yiming, preparing to face the Japanese army. The Chinese Expeditionary Force had full confidence they would succeed, however, the IGA 56th Division marched east on April 1st, preparing to capture the base of the 6th Corps in Loikao. The 6th Corps dispatched the 55th Division to defend Loikao and Tonggi, along with the 93rd Division. The British Burmese Army in the west was pursued by the IGA 33rd Division, and the British Army decided to abandon Burma to withdraw to India. They asked the Chinese Expeditionary Force to send troops to support its retreat. On April 14th, the IJA 33rd Division launched an attack on Yenangong along the Arawadi River and snatched the North Ferry. On April 15th, the Japanese army besieged the British army in Yenangong. San Li Jian, the commander of the 38th Division of the 66th Corps of the Chinese Expeditionary Force, asked the lead troops to rescue the trapped British army. The British water source was cut off and their supplies fell into critical state, only exacerbating issues. The 113th Regiment of the 38th Division of the Chinese Expeditionary Force captured the North Ferry and launched an offensive towards the Japanese on the South Shore, which ushered in fierce fighting between the two armies. At the same time, the British Army also attempted to launch an offensive against the IJ within the siege, but several breakouts ended in failure. At this time, the 113th Regiment of the Chinese Expeditionary Force and the 38th Division joined forces to launch a bold offensive against the Japanese troops surrounding Yanangong. After three days of intense fighting, the Chinese Expeditionary Force regained control of Yanangong on April 19th. Under the command of General San Li Jian, the 38th Division prepared to launch a counter-offensive against Japanese forces. However, the British Army was reluctant to continue fighting in Burma, so the 38th Division had to guard the British rear and provide a safe passage to India for British troops. The 38th Division was then withdrawn to Mandalay, ready to continue fighting with the Chinese Expeditionary Force. When the Japanese surrounded the British, the IJA 56th Division in eastern Burma also launched an attack on Loikao. On April 20th, the 55th Division of the Expeditionary Army defending Loikao finally broke away the IJA and began their retreat. Loikao was then occupied by the IJA. On April 21st, the Japanese Army marched again to Tanji and the 6th Corps of the Expeditionary Army was defeated. The 5th Corps in the center knew that the eastern and western defenses were either shaken or completely defeated. Du Yiming reluctantly cancelled the assault on Ping Mana, which had the high likelihood of success to lead the troops to Tanji. On April 23rd, the vanguard of the 5th Corps of the Expeditionary Force made their first contact with the Japanese army. In the early morning of the 24th, the 200th Division began a fierce assault against IGA positions, and the Japanese were caught by surprise. Tanji was recaptured by the Expeditionary Forces on April 25th. However, the commander ordered that the 5th Corps withdraw to Mandalay, preparing to fight the IGA in Mandalay rather than in Tanji. So on April 26th, Tanji fell again into the hands of the IGA. The IGA 56th Division continued to pursue the 6th Army of the Expeditionary Force, and the 6th Army was defeated by the pursuing Japanese and withdrew troops back to China. The IGA 56th Division went straight to Lashio, and the loss of Lashio resulted in the complete blockade of the Yunnan Burma Highway. Therefore, the 66th Corps of the Expeditionary Force set out to rescue Lashio on April 28th, but the British troops stationed in Mandalay chose to withdraw to India at this time, and the Expeditionary Force remained to guard the British rear. The 66th Corps' hasty defense of Lashio collapsed completely under the fierce artillery fire of the IGA 56th Division and the Japanese Air Force. Lashio fell completely into the hands of the Japanese on April 29th, and the Yunnan Burma Burma Highway was completely blockaded. At this time, the IJA 55th Division in Burma, Central Region, and the 56th Division in Lashio sent troops to attack Mandalay, and the Battle of Mandalay began. 
The 5th Army of the Expeditionary Force defended against the IJ 55th Division for eight days and covered the retreat of British forces to Imphal, India. The 56th Division of the Japanese Army divided its troops and attacked the east, and in early May, they entered the area of West Jinan in China. They captured Tenchong, and the Air Force bombed Baoshan, and the IJ marched the west bank of the New River. However, the Chinese National Guard blew up the bridge to halt the Japanese crossing, and the two armies then engaged in a ferocious battle across the river. The NRA annihilated the Japanese troops that had managed to cross the river, and the two armies were held at the banks of the river for the time being. At this time, the expeditionary troops in Mandalay began to withdraw in order to avoid hindering the larger organized retreat of NRA forces. Originally, Commanders Stilwell and Luzo Ying planned to withdraw the expeditionary forces to India, but Commander Du Yiming decided to withdraw his expeditionary force to commit Kinya and then transfer to China. However, the main force of the IJ-56 Division that had failed to cross the river had turned its focus to occupying Barmo on May 5th and captured Mitkina on May 8th. The Expeditionary Army's retreat was therefore intercepted, so they split their forces in order to slip through the Japanese lines. The NRA 66 Corps and the 200th Division of the 5th Corps retreated along the Yunnan Burma Highway to Tenchong. The remaining troops of the 5th Corps marched north, attempting to return to China through the Kachin Hill. The 38th Division of the 66 Corps, led by Sun Li Jian, believed that their route to China was too dangerous. In order to preserve the strength of his division, the 38th Division split from the Chinese Expeditionary Force and withdrew to India. The 38th Division successfully withdrew its troops and retained its combat capability. The 66th Corps and the 200th Division, who retreated to Tenchong, engaged the Japanese forces on the blocked road after passing Bamo on May 18th. The chief of the 200th Division, Dian Lan, was unfortunately hit by machine gun fire and died on May 26. The expeditionary force managed to break through under heavy casualties, and only 2,600 soldiers were finally able to withdraw to China via the Hutong Bridge. The last unit of the 5th Army of the Expeditionary Force came to Pudao and attempted to retreat to China through the Kachin Hill Rainforest. The 22nd Division and the 96th Division entered the Kachin Hill Rainforest during rainy season, and the 96th Division marched eastwards from Pudao to Kachin Hill and on June 14th was ambushed by the IJ 56th Division. The NRA 96th Division suffered heavy casualties in this engagement, and Hu Yibin, the deputy commander, died in combat. The 22nd Division of the 5th Corps' main force was cut off due to a flash flood, and after eight days of food shortages, the soldiers began to fall to disease and starvation. Eventually, more than 32,000 soldiers died. Finally, the 22nd Division reluctantly retreated to India with the support of US airdrops, and withdrew 8,000 soldiers to Lido, India on July 25th. On August 16th, the 96th Division finally withdrew to Qianchuan in western Yunnan, embarrassed by their failed retreat. Burma was then formally captured by the Imperial Japanese Army, and subsequently occupied. The first battle between Yunnan and Burma caused heavy casualties for the Chinese Expeditionary Force. Alongside them, British forces suffered due to the focus on the European Front by a British High Command, neglecting the Burma campaign and being a key reason for the fall of Burma. After the Yunnan-Burma Highway was blocked, supplies from the US military could only be transported via airlift, which was extremely inconvenient for both the Americans and the Chinese. In addition, the fall of parts of western Yunnan gave the Japanese the opportunity to attack Chongqing, the seat of the national government in the south. So by the end of 1943, the British, the Americans and the Chinese armed forces began to plan a large counterattack. At this time, the NRA stationed in India received modern military training and equipment, improving the combat capability. In the next episode, we will cover the battle for Burma and West Yunnan. So be sure to tune in. Do you like our content? If so, please remember to subscribe to our channel, leave a like and a comment. If you want to support us and see more animated history around the NRA and the ROC, feel free to donate through the link below.